What's up y'all, I'm Nikisha. welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about the highest paying work from home jobs of 2019. What's going on guys? Today I wanted to get into some high paying work from home jobs that pretty much anybody can do. I decided to make a video that will give you plenty of options. Now the options I'm gonna be talking about today, I've either done them or currently do them um, myself or I have friends or family members that do them successfully as well. I'm going to give them to you in no particular order. Let's get right into it. The first high paying work from home job is a digital marketing specialist. Now I have been seeing this position a lot lately. So what a digital marketing specialist is, is someone who knows how to use social media, who knows how to get the word out about a company via SEO, social media marketing, and several other ways. Now, a lot of major corporations are looking for people who specialize in this because, listen, the attention online is like very minimal these days. So you got to put in a lot of effort to get your company and to get your product in front of consumers. So I've been noticing a lot of companies hiring for this task. I am a social media person and this is kind of like something that I do um, in my telecommuting position. Basically, if you know how to navigate SEO, if you know how to navigate social media, you'll be perfect for this type of position. Next, a writer. A lot of companies are looking for people that don't mind writing and they are actually good at it. In this social media space and in this online space, you have to know how to write because SEO is really, really important when it comes to publishing things online. So if you are good at writing stories or describing products and everything like that, you might be a good staff writer. If you are amazing at sales copy and you can write things with compelling, catchy words and you can make people click, you might be an amazing copywriter because that skill will make that company lots of money and they pay really, really well for copywriters. Or if you don't think any of those sound interesting, what about a ghostwriter? There are so many people that don't have the skill of writing, but they might want to write a book. Maybe they want a blog. Maybe, you know, they have other things that they may need to do. You can be a ghostwriter and write for other people. Now, you won't get the credit for that writing, but you will get paid, okay? <laughs> if you are an amazing writer, ghostwriting is something that you can look into. But overall, just being a writer and putting words out on this internet honey companies are paying for that skill next medical billing and coding now one of my best friends does this on the side in addition to her main nursing career during the day and she makes really good money doing this guys now what i understand medical billing and coding to be is basically taking normal language and turning it into medical codes and medical language if that makes sense you can receive certifications um in order to do this and you can get it fairly quickly from what she tells me in just a few months. So if you have that background in medical, if you're an RN, a CNA girl, if you're whatever, if you have a medical background and you're used to looking at this medical language a lot, this might be something you may consider because I heard it pays really, really well. So medical billing and coding. Next, a virtual assistant. Now, there are so many small business owner, large corporations who look for people to do administrative tasks from the comfort of their home. We have so many programs that make this so easy to do. So you really don't have to even go into a job these days in order to be an assistant. A lot of small business owners, and I'm only using the word small business, is because they're not publicly traded companies, but there are businesses out here making cash and they are spending money to have efficient teams so that they can make that cash that they're making. And virtual assistants are a key part of the team structure. Just like me, I have a virtual assistant or someone that helps me on the back end with stuff. The, the, with this thing, you can do it part-time, 10 hours a week, 
15 hours a week. And some people actually hire people full time to become virtual assistants. Now you can find virtual um, assistant positions on freelancer and upwork.com. Simply start a profile, put yourself on there and start advertising your services and putting yourself out there as being a virtual assistant. If you know how to type, you know how to work spreadsheets and um, regular old um, word processing documents and you can make a phone call, you can book travel arrangements and stuff like that, you might be the perfect fit to be a virtual assistant. Next, a social media manager. I've been seeing this listed a lot lately. Companies are looking for people who know how to navigate social. If you are amazing on Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, or YouTube, or whatever platform you you are efficient at, you might be good as a social media manager. Companies are looking for people that literally can provide customer service online because guess what? Sometimes people go online and they make complaints. You have to be that person who can come in and be like, listen, I'm sorry that you're having that problem or whatever. You have to know how to schedule social media. You have to know to how to build engagement on um, company pages and everything like that. Um, you can find these social media manager positions on LinkedIn is a big resource that I've been seeing lately finding these type of positions. If you are not on LinkedIn and you do not have your profile fully set up there, I strongly recommend you set up your LinkedIn profile, especially if you're looking for a remote position like this. Also, don't leave out places like Craigslist and Fiverr um, to find these type of positions too because on Craigslist, I've been able to find some stuff that I've been pretty shocked about. So social media manager. Next, a graphic designer. Now, this doesn't have to be like super fancy and all that, but as I said before, companies are looking for people to prov- to be able to create simple graphics for social media. You know, the ones that have just the words on it and stuff like that, or create flyers, create, create engaging graphics for online. If you're willing to take some time and get to learn programs like Photoshop, Pixlr, even Canva for some of this stuff, you can probably be a a graphic designer because it really doesn't take that much. You have places like Skillshare who you can learn how to use these programs in a couple of hours a week if you just are willing to teach yourself. I mean, get on YouTube, get on Google and teach yourself this skill. I think a graphic designer is something that you honestly can be self-taught in and really make some really, really good money. This is another place as well. You want to put yourself definitely on Upwork. Oh my God. And definitely Fiverr. Fiverr, Fiverr, Fiverr. A lot of my uh, blogger friends and online business friends, they go to Fiverr for a lot of this kind of stuff. So if you are good at graphic designing, put yourself on Fiverr, get your coin, okay? Next, a customer service advisor. Listen, you know I had to tell you about it because I believe it's the easiest entrance to working from home. I personally think that doing customer service from the comfort of your, of your home is the fastest way to kind of build discipline with this thing. Um, it's gonna pay you decent money. Like I've seen jobs or I've had jobs paying, you know, but depending on your lifestyle and what you got going on now, you can make anywhere between thirty and $45,000 a year. Here, um, being an um, being a customer service professional or advisor or whatever the company you apply for um, likes to call it, I think it's the easiest way for you to build that discipline on knowing how to work for yourself, on doing side hustles and stuff like that. Because a lot of the companies can be very structured, but I think it is the easiest route to get into this work at home life. It's how I started, and it will always be near and dear to me. It's guaranteed money. A lot of the companies. Um, Um, provide, uh, what do you call it? Benefits and stuff like that. So customer service advisor, you know, your girl was going to talk about it. (laughs) Next, you can be an English teacher. There are uh, companies like VIP Kid, for example, that hire people to teach children over in China English because they want to learn our language. And if you have a bachelor's degree and you have time, you can set your own schedule and everything like that. And you get on and you do it face-to-face via your computer and you teach um, kids English 
fairly easy. I know a couple of people that do this and they absolutely love it. It pays well. It's very, very flexible. And I think almost anybody can do it. You do have to pass like their testing and all that stuff. Um, but when you first go into it, there are other companies that do it, but VIP Kid is one of the um, popular ones. And I, I, my friends think it's great. So you can be an English teacher. Next, YouTube. You can become a YouTuber. Now, you got to be willing to put in the time on YouTube and understand that this is not an overnight thing. What people don't understand about YouTube is that AdSense is not the only way that you make money here. There are so many ways to make money being a YouTuber. Now, I made a dedicated video to that and I will link that up here in the card somewhere. But some of the ways that you can make money is via AdSense, creating your own products, um, sponsorships from companies, um, just so many ways that you can make money as a YouTuber. And I think it is a viable option for almost anybody if you are not afraid of this camera and not afraid of getting on here and talking and all that good stuff. Become a YouTuber. You can make money with a very small audience and I think that pretty much anybody can do it. So a YouTuber. And last but not least, an eBay reseller. Now, this is something that I have I have done in the past and I have people that I know that are still killing it selling on eBay. This is something as simple, and you can start, so let me say this, as simple as going in your own closet or going throughout your home and selling the stuff that you already have to see how you like it. If you like it from there, there are so many places and so many ways to source products from your local Goodwill, from local dollar stores, and you can sell that stuff right back on eBay and make profit from it. Like, I absolutely loved doing that in the beginning when I was just trying to get my feet wet in entrepreneurship and me being me, I'm like, I'll try a couple of things like I don't mind trying a couple of things and being an eBay reseller is very lucrative if you can go to garage sales on the weekends and you're willing to go through and source products through via Goodwill and all that you may be successful as an eBay reseller it can it, it can be kind of tough not tough let, let me not use the word tough it can be tricky in the beginning to learn what products are you know going to be profitable but they have programs that can help you do that and ways that you can go on ebay and see what the item has sold before sold for before you and everything like that. But an eBay reseller can be very, very, very lucrative. Look, if you want to make money out here in 2019, there are just so many ways for you to do that. If you want to be at home with your family, if you just want to be at home because you want to be at home, there are so many ways for you to make money out here, okay? Listen, these are just 10 ways, but feel free to use these as just a launching place for you to start doing the research you need to do in order to make you some money from home because I believe this is where our economy is moving. A lot of companies are hiring people to telecommute and everything like that. And I think you should hop on board now, even if you do it as a side hustle or you do it in addition to your full time job. Go ahead and start pursuing the options of working from home now. If you found this video, useful, beneficial, any of that good stuff, go ahead and share it out on social media for me, Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that. If you know someone that you think will find this video useful, share it individually with them and say, you know what? It's this girl on YouTube and she's giving all these good tips on how to make money from home. And if you're here and you stayed this far through the video, obviously you like what you hear, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Do me one last favor. Go check out one of these other videos that are around here and I will meet you over there.